To East Africa, Kenya's tech scene is one of Africa's most advanced with soaring phone use and uh, cheap data sparring growth. Uh, but tech entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurs say investment capital is scarce. And investors drawn to Africa's silicon savannah say there is a shortage of uh, innovation to meet needs. We live in a push Burton world. More and more that applies to how we learn too. An app called Eneza is helping these children in Nairobi. In Swahili, the word means spread. We normally pick on a subject. After that, we pick on the challenging questions, then we work them on the board together with the pupils. The app helps teachers like Julia Nocheng give many pupils, especially the poorer ones, something they might only hope for, free and limited access to learning materials. All you do is dial a simple chord. Direct you and tell you the right answer and tell you more about the question. Like the app's users, Kenya's tech startup scene is youthful, eager, but lacking resources. Eneza is an exception. It got funded by Kenya's biggest mobile operator, Safaricom, and others. Money they couldn't do without, says Eneza developer Christopher Asego. When you're starting a business, you want it to, like, sort of fund itself. So. I mean, the initial funding that we got um, to, brought us this far. We have close to 350,000 students on the platform. Safaricom itself is proof that innovation can work. It's a pioneer of M-Pesa mobile money transfer technology, now used across Africa, Asia, and Europe, and generated $300 million in the last financial year. But success is elusive for would-be entrepreneurs. Even as they brainstorm in a local tech hub, a new report says many startups simply don't start. Over two-thirds of them not earning enough to keep a small team going. I have administrator Mogethi Kitao. It comes from, first of all, maybe identifying the right gap in, into the market um, and creating the right solution um, to, you mean, I mean to address that gap, um, to getting the necessary support. The lack of investment and right ideas to monetize may be the two big problems, but investors should look through them, says Mugedi. Invest your money, invest your mentorship, and I would like to encourage young people to keep innovating. After all, says its fans, with mobile phone use at nearly 80% in Kenya, cheap data and soaring smartphone uptake, Kenya has all the right buttons to push. Well, for some insights on how to navigate the world of entrepreneurship, I'm joined by Teddy Rouge. He's a co-founder of Red Core Money Transfer. Teddy, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. It's been a long time. Thanks for having me. Now, that was, uh, you know, some, some thoughts there on that, in, in yeah. that story. Uh, first, uh, w what do you make of um, uh, the idea uh, that uh, there is a shortage of innovation? I don't, think there's a, I don't think there's a shortage of innovation. Um, I think we have to redefine what innovation is. Uh, we can't look at innovation on the continent from the perspective of Silicon Valley innovation uh, in that perspective. Innovation is, in Africa is simply um, creating tools, digital tools that actually address uh, very local issues and problems. Like M-Pesa was an innovation in terms of um, making sure um, the unbanked were banked or finding ways to easily move money around. And that has been massive to a point where uh, greater than 25% of Kenya's GDP is now flowing through digital means. Mm -hmm. And that creates a lot of op uh, follow-on opportunities for other digital tools that can actually uh, happen in the country. Yes. Now, we know kids in Africa, in Kenya, and across you know, the rest of the continent are really busy innovating. Actually, they don't even listen to these other stories about mm -hmm. uh, insufficient innovation. How do they go about getting capital, uh, which usually is the biggest problem even for not so young people? This is true, this is true, and this is, this is a challenge we're also um, facing, is that access to capital. Um, what is happening, you have to put the, um, our even innovation landscape into perspective. Um, it was only until about 2011, 2012, when we were really connected to the high sea, undersea, undersea cable so that broadband could begin to come down so that um, people could actually begin to use digital uh, communications as a way of life. And Kenya took to that like um, very fast uh, and is able to now um, 
be a mobile first community where you know it's Facebook first, it's uh, textbook first, it's uh, smartphones first that are going, it's no longer laptops and that kind of thing. So the community is very young in terms of being digitally savvy and digitally uh, competent. So building tools on top of that uh, requires a large market to be able to uptake. And investors who want to put money into that market want to see a large uptake. And we're just not there yet. That's why places like iHub or Hive Collab in Uganda are really great places to uh, incubate uh, young technologists and really take take away that need for large capital for offices for um, for um, salaries and that and, kind and of actually thing. I wanted you to talk a little bit to that the the, the iHubs this yeah. incubator mm -hmm. uh, do investors come there like to look for uh, young fellows who may need funding well and and that's what and that's what they're there for there are uh, almost uh, 30 innovation hubs around uh, the continent and I think they function as a as a place to send centralized within each country uh, that they are, uh, centralizes those innovators into one place so that it's easy for, um, uh, for investors who are, you know, who understand the landscape and want to come and invest and to be able to come in and find, easily find those innovators that are there. Um, and also competitions like technology competition, pitching competitions, centralize all of that uh, talent so that investors can you know, have an easier job of finding the great innovations that they want to invest in. And we can expect a lot to come out of Africa, yeah? Indeed, yeah. indeed. <laughs> well, yeah. thanks a lot, Teddy, and uh, we'll surely continue this conversation some other Thank time. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Well, Teddy Rouge is the co-founder of uh, Red Core Money Transfer.